what's the link between relationships that we we mentioned, mental health, and then also training? Let's start off with the piece around training and that expression of the how we do anything is how we do. How we do anything is how we do everything. And let's take that into the context of relationships. So again, if in my workout, I'm happy to, to push through that discomfort, then I need to sh- see the ways in maybe where I'm not showing up in my relationships. I remember meeting a super cool old man. He was like late 80s. His name was Bob Lloyd, an American man. And he gave me a coin. And he said, I want you to remember this. And it was made of wood and it was carved, the ABC. And when you flipped it over, it said, always be communicating. And he said, this is the ABC of any relationship, okay, to always be communicating. So the how we do anything is how we do everything, right? We, we have discomfort in the gym. That's a good representation of how we meet discomfort in life. When we then put that into practice in the context of relationships, it comes back to open, honest communication. And the open, honest communication isn't just the whole like, oh, you've done this and you've really upset me. A huge part of the open, honest communication is like to be super open and honest with yourself first. Because so many people go into relationships as a closed book. So many people go into relationships unaware of the shadow self, right? The the self-perceived inadequacies, the parts that they don't want to reveal because they think might be judged or criticized or not worthy of love. When you bring that into a relationship, problems will arise, period. And, and what will then continue to happen is you'll meet someone and then think, oh, no, that's not right. And you will bounce from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship to another relationship to another relationship. What needs to happen? Awareness. Yeah. Where aren't I speaking my truth? Where aren't I being open and honest to myself? This now ties back in with the third piece, yeah. the mental health. Okay. Honesty is the greatest form of self-compassion. Okay. Because if you're not being honest, you're basically waking up and saying to yourself at a subconscious level every day, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy of love. Think how many people carry that message with themselves every day, men and women. And, and men especially, right? Let's 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 target your specific audience, which is men, you know, late teens to mid, mid late 30s, early 40s. Well, that's the criteria for the greatest risk of suicides. 75% of annual suicides are within that age range of men. Why? There's a lot of men out there who are struggling and are not speaking about it. Okay. Which is why the always be communicating piece is so damn important. But many men have learned to suppress because maybe they grew up in households where they didn't feel they could. Maybe they grew up in households with, you know, dad is the, the, the role model. Okay. We're always going to be influenced by our caregivers, whether we like it or not, whether we know it or not. So if we saw a dad who was on oh, right all the time, then you've learned that. Yeah. Okay. But dad wasn't all right all the time and neither are you. So stop pretending that you are. And and like I said earlier on in the show, can you give yourself permission to recognize, to accept and acknowledge from a place of self-compassion that you're not okay and that that's okay? Yeah, because you will be. Okay. Yeah, you might need some help. Okay. Yeah, you might need to go and see a professional. But also you might just need to go and have a, a, a pint of beer with your mate and just have a chat just to get something out, to get something off your chest, to go and speak. And the more you continue to do that, the more you build confidence and safety in the body where it's like, okay, I can do this. Yeah. I can do this and this is okay. Yeah. It feels uncomfortable. Well, man, I talk about discomfort a lot and we have covered it a number of times throughout today's session, but discomfort is so valuable because if you're feeling just comfortable all the time, that means you're in your comfort zone. And the comfort zone for many people is not always healthy. It's safe, but it's not fulfilling. So discomfort and growth go hand in hand. When you are prepared to step out of the comfort zone, that's when magic happens, I believe, in the context of life, in the context of business, in the context of training, in the context of relationships. Be prepared to step outside the comfort zone if you want to live an awesome life. My name is Samuel Main, and I truly hope that you've got value from today's video. If you have, please do hit like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the video tomorrow.